I am talking with Caitlin Emma, one of Politico Pro's fabulous education reporters who is on assignment in Finland learning and taking in all kinds of things about the Finnish school system from preschool through high school, talking to teacher uh, training um, a little bit too. And, um, and we just want to hear a little bit about some of the things you've seen in these last few days and if you can tell us about what you're seeing and what it's like there. Yeah, well, the, um, the Finnish education system is definitely um, a system to witness firsthand if education is something that you're really interested in. Um, they consistently are one of the highest performing systems in the world. Uh, recently, they dipped a little bit in their rankings in terms of international performance, but um, it's a very, very unique setup in that almost all education here is free and it's funded by the state or the local uh, municipality. And it, it, it's definitely something to see. Um, they operate very diff differently than the United States and, and they pride themselves on the way that they operate. I mean, um, for example, what I've heard over and over again for the last couple of days is that they uh, do not evaluate their teachers. And they're very staunch on the fact that they're not going to evaluate, evaluate their teachers and the, and the government state has no hand in that at all. There's like a ton of trust in the teachers and the teachers performance. And that's one huge difference between Finland and the United States in that, um, you know, the teacher's performance is basically up to the principal of the school and, and that's where it ends. So okay. it, there are so many interesting little differences like that. Tell me about some of the things you've actually seen. You've been going to classrooms, you've been talking to students, uh, you've eaten school lunch in Finland. Uh, tell, me, and you, and tell me a little bit about some of that, ex that experience that you're having. Yeah, um, it's very, very different. I mean, I know that school lunch has changed a bit since I've been in high school, um, where it was, you know, pizza and like pasta and french fries or whatever you wanted. I know that there are definitely regulations on how uh, much healthier we're making school lunch now, but School lunch here is very different, and it, it's different all the way from daycare to um, what is a high school student or an upper secondary student here. Uh, today I had a school lunch that was, it was like a, on Thursday, it's, it's tradition for them to have some sort of soup. Um, and today it was like minced meat soup and bread and butter. It's been very interesting. Even their, uh, their school structure is sort of structured around this system where there are no dead ends so it, it like no matter what path you take you can end up with a phd if that's what you want to do it, it's really really cool to see them doing it and they're also involved i mean um the opportunities seem you know limitless for the kids who really want to take advantage of them